Okay. Posa. Shapes of noses. All right. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Alright, so let's do the character thing here. Bags under his eye, lack of sleep. Yep. Else. You got some blood on you, or red stained blood wine. Probably blood, to be honest. He is a detective. But who knows? Oh well, he might be hungover actually. Getting his gun in a good mood. So I need to change this to wine. Hungover. I did it! Lester is exhausted. He didn't sleep well last night. He's been drinking wine. No, he has a headache. Cleaning his guns shows that he's in a good mood. He keeps a lady perf perfumed. Handkerchief as a memento. Miss Robbins, the wife of a British councilman, might be connected. Present condition. Ooh. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? I don't know. Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what mm. you think. Uh, nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then. Take your warrant. Give me my warrant. Thank you. So ha, you refuse ha, ha. to give you the search warrant? Oh no, oh, no. I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Oh, poor Watson just gets thrown to the side. Gets thrown to the side. Back to the club. We must search the club. Search it up and down for clues. <laughs> All right, let's also check this. All right, we've already done those. We don't know if he's crazy yet. I haven't decided if he actually, like my thought is maybe there was, like there was a statue here originally, but it was moved and someone kind of took its spot, like blended in, like did like an outfit change. And then they didn't realize because it was like late. I need to get the key first. God damn it. <laughs> what? The warrant can't just open it? That's bullshit. Alright. There he is. There's my man. Hello. I need to be let in. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. I do protest. Well test as all he wants but I'm going in there I'm going in all right all right let's take a look here <laughs> we got tons of stuff in here all right let's look here Zacharias Greystoke okay I wonder who this man is. Hmm. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Okay. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. All right. Ah, uh, there's someone else. Or damaged. I'll take it. 
Okay. Ah, so Charles was once a captain in the guard. Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new transit to your club's account. However, the payment period has been reduced to one month and the sum of credit to a thousand due to the previous overdue amount. Uh, if you wish to review your account, you should contact bank manager directly, Mr. Black, bookkeeper of Lloyd's Bank. Okay. March 1881, James Ness and Sons, Jewelry, Sir Charles Yellingham, we acknowledge your receipt of your item, namely 458 grams of solid gold from a Park Gold Ultiman statue. We agree to purchase this item. M monies will be paid within 48 hours from receipt of this letter. Although this transition is entirely illegal, we do assure you this will remain confidential. Okay. 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Okay, now let's look at this one right here. Charles Yellingham has a large family. Anything else? Hello there. Yellingham, as I said here in front of everyone, you cannot give away this calendar. I want to study it. We have to discuss this matter before the award ceremony. I've already warned the others one of the other one of this. A okay. message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke. Interesting. Victor. Very interesting. Oh, hello there. For Mr. Oliver, the company directors of Royal Parties, to organize the award ceremony for our bowling club's most recent competition to the estimation of requirement for guest night, 20 cases of champagne, dinner for 40, reserved from the res restaurant, a local musical assembly, assembly to provide entertainment 30 flower arrangements for table decorations and for invitation cards for guests i know this will be quite expensive but do please allow me a period of grace to settle the payment as i recall you were so generous grant on the previous occasion thank you thank you in advance you spent a lot of money for stuff uh sir charles yellingham from Brittany lovelace chief accountant at loans bank dear sir charles our records show that you are once again late and this for the fourth time in payment credit you have with our house. And delay in payment results in a fine of 7, 10, yep. After setting a proposal, we agree to seize parts of your club collection and payment for the credit, which will be sold in private auction. All raised monies will be reversed against your credit account. Interesting. Okay. It appears that the... Okay. Seems... Club is that... So, I don't, this is not the one I want. Yep. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it was him. Let's see if there's anything else in the clubhouse that we can use. Any other interesting things? Hmm? Oh, wow, wow, wow. These antiques look quite valuable. They do. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, well. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. fortune. It does. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Put that back. Anything else in here? I don't think so. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Mmm. So, with him dead, he can sell his collection. With him dead. This metal globe is very impressive. bits are missing some bits are missing all right well we're missing some bits here wow. the late mr. Roberts collection hmm The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. A lot of collections here of people after people passed. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. Hmm. else I happen to see here. We're going to go back to our place, Sherlock's place, and see if we can mess with that photo. Maybe we can reveal what's missing, maybe. That's my guess. That is my guess. But it seems like... This guy, is, my guess is, he's trying to just get money to keep the club and stuff. That's my guess. Yep. Here we go. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Alright. I need a pipette. What? Is this? Me? Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Clean. There we go. Uh -huh. There's another person Who are you? Who are you, sir? Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, do you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. 
Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Very, very cool. So, we have more evidence. Let's see if I can connect the dots. Oh, no more connecting the dots yet. Um... Any other things I need to look into? I don't think. A map of London and it's. Uh, Alright. Search Club Lounge. I guess I need to go back to the Club's Lounge. I didn't find everything. <laughs> I should probably talk to that guy and be like, so, uh, buddy. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. What? I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. That's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias, and there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Okay. Pretty sure that the curse isn't real, <laughs> but we'll wait a second before I put that in there. Let's go talk to this gentleman over here that supposedly made the statue. Hello, how are you? Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. He looks sketchy. Alright. Okay. Where about? Okay. Grub Street. Oh, man. <laughs> Eight Grub Street, London. Eight. Two. Four. Tree. Okay, well. Do do do. Gotta read the street names. Gotta read the street names. I gotta read the street names. Hello. Yeah. 
Main Street. God damn, this whole place is huge. Grub Street. All right, one, two, six. We got it. Here we go. I know that. This is uh, weird. Oh, look. A horse. It's a horse. horse. Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Good. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takunu Mark. Well, well, well. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Okay. It's good to know. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a fountain. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, he's in his office. There's a door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. All right. A furnace for melting metal. Something large and heavy was trapped here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunu Man's statue. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here. Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. All right, let's do this. Let's look him up. All right. No, 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 no. What the fuck that is? Ambulance protected charms. Okay. Leather patches. Okay. Oh, he's smelly hands. Smells of oil. Spectacles. Technically, I think he works with rough objects because he does metal and stuff, but... Oh, grease. Dirty collar. Clipped. Okay, my question is, what is this myopic? What does what is that? Myopic? What is myopic, Jesse? I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, in this case, I would just. What is it? <laughs> Nearsighted? Oh, uh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It has another meaning, too. So. Okay. So, the question is... I don't know which one... 
Would it be this one? Lacking imagination. Ah. Uh, that's the other one. Uh, so if he's nearsighted, he would have a hard time. I don't know. The problem is, like, technically, it's these two are this, like, it's the same question. Like, how detailed is his work like it seems like they're big statues so I'm gonna just I don't know we're just gonna go with this yeah I probably fucked it up I didn't huzzah Menard Marley is not yet 45 years of age she's the founder director and a member of the archaeology club He's negligent and most likely lives alone. Bernard is a superstitious man, as indicated by the many ambulance upon him. This person is clear he spends a great deal of time sitting at his office desk and working with sharp items and mechanical oil. He works with hard concentration and requires spectacles for close work. Alrighty, we did it. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke, the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna show you a photograph. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. True Too courageous. courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. Mm-hmm. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. What's your opinion on Takun Numan's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Uh huh. What do we do? My cow, there's but in fact, you do. You made, you made the, statue. the statue, that's true. But it was 10 years ago, you can't blame me for that, don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No, it's Tekun Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekun Uman? Nobody. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It's not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that he could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the awards ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. Because he kills the I lords. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night. And with Watson. And with Watson.
Alright, facts, got dirt. We are going back to Baker Street and get Watson. We got to get Watson! Watson! I think the goal is we're going to try to finish this second case. This stream. So we can finish. I think there's three cases per game. I believe. I believe. So that way we'll be ready to go when it's October. We'll start Resident Evil 2. Ah, daughter's downstairs. Yep. Caitlin's happy Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to. Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's oh. delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B two, two, for 221C. Two, two, Give it to me, oh, Watson. No, don't you dare throw it in the fire. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Calm down, man. I need to finish here first. Finish here first? What do you mean? Uh, well... What are you going to do with it, Holmes? Oh my god. We are not throwing it in the fire. You are not gonna make me... Wait. We are not going to analyze the... Oh my god. Sherlock! Oh my goodness! This is a horrible fucking idea. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. <laughs> It would be easier to open this letter if I steam it. Let's prepare. Boil water in kettle. Okay. I need to turn on the gas burner first. Okay. So we finally did it. You move yourself so next to him. You are a bold one. He will fa he will fascinate you, but be cautious of him all the all the same. I'm writing to tell you that I found your father's boat. It's quite damaged, but still afloat. You can use it if you wish. You must know that your father was like a brother to me. If there's anything in a way that I can do to help you, please let me know anytime. Whatever risk may evolve. Sorry. Well. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Maybe she just wants to know you, man. Like, maybe... Uh... Let's reseal it, as if it was never open. Alright, how do we do that? I need something to apply the glue. Okay, this... Maybe... Ah, uh, this... There we go. That's it. We are a Just monster! Cake, I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Alright. God damn. This is all fucking horrible. I need horrible. to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. She Okay. Alright. This way. Oh shit! What is this? Sherlock Holmes, Doctor Ruben Fisher. Do you remember him? Well, you are a sorry excuse for a detective. You failed to understand why any of it was done. We chose the lesser evil for a greater, brighter future. We need to sacrifice the few to help the majority. 
I want to read these words one day. Dr. Ruben Fisher. Okay. Lovely. All right. Ah, here. I can get to the balcony this way. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Holmes? Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secret, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Well, alrighty.